This season, the New York Mets provided us with glimpses into what many think is an exciting future, but it was also a time to reflect on the past. Two legends within the organization, broadcaster Ralph Kiner and former general manager Frank Cashin, passed away this year, but their careers with the team won't soon be forgotten. 2014 marks the first time that the Mets will begin a baseball season without the iconic presence of the legendary and beloved Ralph Kiner. Earlier today, Ralph's son Michael and daughters Casey, Tracy, and Kimberly visited the Mets Hall of Fame and Museum to unveil the new Kiner's Corner exhibit, honoring their father's broadcasting career. I think that my father would want to be remembered for uh, being a, an excellent broadcaster, being fair, not a homer by any means, but just consistently a great member of the Mets family. I can't tell you how long it's going to take to win a pennant. I think we're going to win a pennant. If I didn't really feel that way, I wouldn't have taken the job in the first place. Frank Cashin was hired in 1980 to resurrect a franchise that had become a perennial loser. He quickly got to work by drafting future superstars Daryl Strawberry and Dwight Gooden and acquiring young, unheralded talent. When I was traded to the Mets and they told me I was going to go to AAA, I was devastated. I'm like, AAA, you guys are terrible. I mean, I can't pitch for you guys. But he always had a plan, and the plan was is that like a fine wine, he wasn't going to bring up a pitcher until he was ready to really make his mark. After trading for Keith Hernandez and Gary Carter and cultivating homegrown prospects, Cashin had created a championship ready team. He struck him out! Struck him out! The Mets have won the World Series! You know, if it wasn't for Frank, this organization wouldn't have never been consistent like we were throughout those years in the 80s because, you know, each year he improved the team. He changed my life. One of the reasons I'm here in New York, one of the reasons I'm in New York, a Met for life, one of the reasons I have a World Series ring is Frank Cashin, and, and uh, I'm always be indebted to him.